Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this week's Random Camps. As ever, Silver Bunny has been extremely busy wandering around Appalachia trying to find some cool builds. So let's see what she's come up with this week. All right then, so the first camp is the Horizon Harbor by XX Straight Jacket XX. I have no idea what just happened then. Uh, apologies all round. Anyhow, Straight Jacket's put together a really cool camp here. I'm assuming it's some kind of dock or an arbor, considering that's the camp's name and it's built on water. So we're, we're just gonna go with that. It's a buddy arbor. Right, okay then. So on your exterior, I like the little pavilion pagoda set, whatever the buddy hell it's called. I like them structures, yeah. I am a fan of them. The house itself, um, yeah, the mistress of mystery set is not my cup of tea. But it doesn't look offensive, you know. It, it's our eat is what I'm saying. On the deco front, not a bad job. I like what you've done with it. There's just enough to make it look full. And it matches in with overall theme of the build. Yeah, outside, mate, not a bad effort at all. Let's take a look at inside your build, see what's going on in there. Mm -hmm. Yep, simply, simply lovely. Very well decorated. I'm a bit surprised it's clean compared to the exterior of it, but doesn't look bad. Looks really well put together, especially that kitchen area. Yeah, I do like that. That's probably my favourite part of the entire build, to be honest with you. Straight jacket, great job with this camp. For our second camp, we have the Mountainside View build by Nephius. And this is a total switch up from the first build we've just looked at. Whereas that was quite law friendly, quite scrappy. This one is most evidently, you know, a modern house kind of build. And what a great location it's in as well. Not only is it a beautiful looking camp, that view is absolutely stunning as well. So yeah, it's looking good so far. Right, so design wise, there's nothing too mad about it. Nothing too complicated. The build itself is actually really simple. And that's not a bad thing, by the way. I'm just, you know, saying it it is ladies and gentlemen now there is some cool bits that have been done to it on the exterior though very ingenuitive ideas the stools being used as uh, beams that's a nice touch oh buddy i've just noticed your railings are made out of uh, stools and benches as well again very clever idea it looks buddy good as well fair play to you hi from the outside smart looking camp this no complaints from me whatsoever Aye, right, nice work. We do need to take a look at the interior, though. Let's have a gander at how that stacks up. Right, okay then. Not bad at all. Typical queen decoration, in my opinion. It doesn't look half bad, and I must say, your movie room, very well put together indeed. One little bit of advice I would give you. I can't work out whether you've double-walled the vast majority of the interior, or you've just got it, you know, flipped round the opposite way. However, I did notice that on the slopey boys, the top arches for those who, you know... Don't speak utter bollocks like myself. I noticed that they weren't double walled. Um, it is possible to do though, mate, if you did want to, you know, have a crack at it. You just got to change them to the brick set and that'll allow you to, to actually double them up. And obviously you have got to burn them with the flamethrower trap as well. Like I said, don't know if that's something you're interested in, but if I can throw some tips out to you, then I will do. Nephius, great work on this camp. Very well done indeed. Okay then, so for our third camp, we've got the Dusty Roads build by New Kabat. And some of you may recognise this. If you watched last week's stream on the weekend, we actually visited this camp. So yeah, this is one of the very few in the random fives that I've actually been to myself. And let me tell you, it is really well done. Now then, believe it or not, this is a pre-existing location. The pre-existing part of it is the trailer. I mean, it's quite obvious, really, isn't it? Hi, of course it is. Now then, in my opinion, these trailers are some of the coolest pre-existing spots in the game. There is a number of them scattered around Appalachia, but make no mistake, this one is by far the hardest to build in. It's on the piss, right? You step inside of that thing and everything's slanted. So it is quite tricky to, you know, actually put stuff down and make it look half decent. So I think New Kabat has done the right thing by building around it and incorporating it rather than making that his main living space. The structure itself is very war friendly, very immersive, and the main thing, it fits in with the location. Now, feel free to tell me to sod off in the comments, but I'm a firm believer in if you're going to build around a pre-existing spot, such as this one, the build should match in with what's already there. Now, I get it. Some people don't give a shit, and that is entirely up to you. But in my opinion, I think New Kabat has done right by this location. Fantastic work on the structure, my friend. Now, onto your decor. I've got no complaints about it. It isn't filled to the rafters, but it's not empty either. It's a good balance you've got going on here. 
And yep, there you go, guys. Can you see the angle that that trail was on? It is a bloody nightmare to build in here. And you know, despite the fact Bethesda loves putting floating items into the game, I I'm not a fan of it. So this would be a no goal from me. Nukabat, you've done a cracking job at making this spot your own. Okay then, camp number four, we have the Neighbouring Nook by My Magpie Eyes. That is a fantastic name. Random as anything, but good name nonetheless. This is a really cool build. Um, if you're thinking of wastelandy kind of structures, I think this one's got it down to a T. Ah, yeah, I'd say so. This is the kind of thing you'd expect wastelanders to build, you know, just using whatever's in the vicinity to make a little settlement place to live. You know what I'm saying, don't you? Hi, of course you do. I say the same thing every week, after all, because I've got the vocabulary range of a teaspoon. Right then, so this is another pre-existing spot, believe it or not. I'm a poet, I didn't know it. Um, that little cabin there with the garden, it's just down from Fort Atlas, if you want to give it a try yourself. Anyway, despite what I said about the last build, adding to stuff and keeping it in theme with what's already there, Th this isn't one of those situations, right? I wouldn't have thought that a scrappy shack had worked well with the prison car prefabs. I, I just didn't think that that would go together. But I'm going to read my words here and say this actually works quite well. Yeah, I think that looks awesome. I'm not a massive fan of the container. That does kind of take away from it a little bit. But overall, it's a really cool design. Cool layout as well. I like what you've done with it. Interior-wise, awesome job on the decorating front. There's a lot of detail in it. It's well fleshed out. And you can tell you've put a bit of time into this, yeah? This hasn't been thrown together in two minutes and, you know, called done. Now, as far as prefabs go, I'm not a fan of them. I'm a fan of certain ones. These prison cars, yeah, they look okay, but it's the same with any of them. If these would have just been thrown down and not decorated, it would look absolutely terrible. I'm sorry, but it would. So it's nice to see that time and effort has been put into, you know, fleshing them out a little bit. Freshing them out, apparently. Not fleshing them out, freshing them out. Okay, Magpie, awesome work on this camp. Now then, for our fifth and final build, we have... I've forgotten. Give me a sec. The Cumbar. Sorry, no. The Scumbar by Der Svensman. I have no idea. J just read it before I butcher it anymore. Anyway, if this unpronounceable name is recognisable to you, it's because they was actually in a stream we did uh, the other weekend. Stumbled across them totally randomly. But let me tell you, the shelter bills that they had put down incredible i was in there for ages and i still didn't explore it all however mon petit Fours, that's not what we're here to look at we're here to look at dust for zimsman's camp and that's exactly what we're gonna do okay then so more prefab action so it seems i do believe that boat is the free if you pay 11.99 a month for fallout first uh ship prefab just saying that sentence made me lose at least three more brain cells but yeah you know what i'm saying it's a free ship if you pay for um <laughs> if you pay for follow despite its cost or however the hell it's acquired it actually looks really good in this build i tell you something they're really surprising me this week these prefab structures not looking too shabby at all now obviously that's the main attraction of this build but the little area that uh has put together around it is equally as impressive it all matches in really nicely and i've just ripped a uh, key off my um <laughs> Off my keyboard, if you was wondering what that noise was, for God's sake, man. Broken keyboards aside, promise it's got nothing to do with me smashing it across the desk on multiple occasions. This camp is actually really cool, exterior-wise at least anyway. Like I said, the prefab fits in really well. And overall, I think it has quite a cosy look to it, as ridiculous as that sounds. The, the dinosaur at the back there staring at me is really taken away from that feel, but... You get what I'm saying, don't you? It's all very close and intermingled. Your structure at the back, I can't really see it. So I can't give you an opinion on it because of this big, you know, dirty tree here. However, it doesn't stand out like a sore thumb. So that is bonus points from me. Like I say, matching everything together, sticking with a theme, always a good thing. Mm-hmm. Yep, yeah, it's an awesome camp. I honestly can't fault it one bit. Decor-wise, I can see a little bit on the outside. And what I can see... Yep, looks fairly decent. Let's take a look on the inside of the structure I can't actually see. Um, yeah, okay. Bit random, bit sporadic. There's lots of different stuff everywhere. In fact, after saying that, there is actually some rooms that are a bit more organised. 
Yeah, n not too shabby, my friend. Not too shabby at all. Rather cool build this, I'll give you that one, buddy. And that wraps up this week's Random 5 Camps. Before I disappear, though, if you haven't already clicked off the video, I do have a bit of an announcement to make. All these random camps we find are on PlayStation. However, Silver Bunny has just invested in an Xbox, so she is going to be actively hunting out more random camps on that side as well. So keep your eyes open, guys. And if you have any cool builds that you think should be featured, make sure to leave out some tea and biscuits because she, she does like them. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. And as we say in the north, I will love you and leave you. And I'll catch you in the next one. Have fun, everybody.